The strength of any army cooperation squadron in action with the army depends to a large extent on its mobility. In other words, it must be able to be moved from one airfield to another with the least possible delay. Here, for instance, is my own squadron on the move from A to B. Gap has his own kit and personal belongings to take with him. gliders, with the exception of my own, were flown by members of the Glider Pilots Regiment of the Army. The Whitleys, which do the towing, are manned by RAF personnel. This type of exercise gives a good idea of the complete cooperation which exists between khaki and blue. You've already seen soldiers helping us to pack up. Here are some of the Glider Pilots fixing the tow rope, or knitting as we call it. Gliders are now being towed off. Now we are airborne and on our way. The tow rope is gone and we are gliding free near our new base and down towards the aerodrome. You can see the ground appearing to come up at us. We are making quite a steep descent, much steeper than in a power-driven aircraft. Now we have landed and the rest are following us down, each going to its own dispersal point. There's no need to have an engine for taxiing as you can put the gliders wherever you want them. This type of move is nowadays almost an everyday occurrence, so much so that the gliders are becoming known as pantechnicons. We in the Army Cooperation Command of the Royal Air Force enjoy this sort of work and enjoy still more working in such close harmony with the Army.